guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Well, about five years ago, one of the first videos I did on my channel was five Maceo Parker licks for guitar. And today I'm gonna to give you five more perfect funk licks from Maceo. I still consider him to be the funkiest human on planet Earth. Make sure you come by Tasty Guitar, get the free tab for this lesson by subscribing on the bottom of the homepage. Also, be sure to check the description below for information about membership at Tasty Guitar because members at Tasty Guitar get sound slice, video sync tab, backing tracks, live workshops, feedback on your playing from me, and so much more. Tune up and let's get started. This first lick is a really excellent example of how Maceo likes to kind of weave in and out of the major and minor kind of sounds, starting with that sixth up there, which you would typically find out of Mixolydian or your major pentatonic sound, and then touching on the flat third, which you would get from your blue scale. Very, very common in Maceo's playing. Now, like all the licks in today's lesson, these are in B flat played over a B flat dominant chord. Okay, so what we're doing here is starting up at the 15th fret on the second 16th note of beat three. So this is one, two, three. You're gonna pull off that G note up there to the F note twice. One, two, three. You're then gonna go down to the B string, pull off the 14th fret to the 13th fret, follow that with the 15th fret on the G string, that's your root of B flat down there. So, so far you would have this. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. You're then gonna go up to the 16th fret on the B string, that is the fourth in the key of B flat, the E flat note there. Hit that, slide into the 15th fret, which is your major third, again, ending on the root. So here is the entire lick, one, two, three. And I kind of recommend that you do this fingering as well. I'm going to the third finger, sliding in with the second finger there, ending on the first finger. Again. In this second lick, we got a couple more techniques that you'll hear Maceo use a lot. The first is kind of a jump down of an octave, really common in his playing. And the next is the use of chromaticism. So we're starting here on beat two, right up at the root at the 11th fret on the B string, that B flat there. And we're gonna hit that and cut it off really quick. One. I'm gonna jump down to the flat seven there at the ninth fret. One. One. And then you're going to hit the, the root again and then jump down an octave to the B flat note at the 8th fret on the D string. And then you're going to follow that by the 6th fret on the G string. So here's the first measure. One. One. You're then going to hold that D flat note out until the time of the second 16th note of the following bar and you're going to slide up to the 7th fret. So that's going from your flat 3rd to your major 3rd and then follow that up chromatically to the 10th fret on the G string. So, so far you would have this. One. Again. One. And then you're just going to end it by going back to your flat third there at the sixth fret and kind of give it a very slight kind of bend. Again, one. A little bit faster, one. Faster, one.
number three here, another very common technique that you'll hear in Maceo's playing, and that is moving between two notes a half step away repeatedly. We're gonna start the lick at the ninth fret on the B string, gonna go down to the eighth, the sixth fret, the F note there, back to the G note, back to the F. So let's play this first part here on the and of beat one. One. Again, one. You're then gonna go down to the sixth fret on the G string, your flat third there, slide it up to the seventh fret and back, and you're gonna do this three times. So, so far from the beginning of the lick, you would have this. One. Again, one. And then the end of the lick, you're gonna go back to your F, your G, the D, ending at the sixth fret on the B string, your F note again. So here is the entire lick. One. Again, one. Let's speed it up a little bit. One. Lick number four, another great example of Maceo kind of weaving in between the major and minor sound here, starting on minor pentatonic, going into kind of the major sound by sliding into the major third using the sixth, and then ending back in minor pentatonic. Okay, so we're gonna start this lick on the end of the second beat, right at the root on the eighth fret on the D string. One, two. One phrase there, one, two. Right on beat four, you're gonna go down to the flat seven there, sixth fret on the D string. Go back to the root. So, so far you'd have this. One, two. Go to the sixth fret, but you're gonna do that with your second finger, your sixth fret on the G string. Second finger there, because you're gonna then slide it into the seventh fret. One, two. One. Two. You're gonna land on that seventh fret right on beat one of the following measure. Then you're gonna then hit the F, the G, and the root at the sixth fret on the high E string. And then you're gonna kind of slide out of that sixth fret downward. So here's what you're gonna have so far. One, two. Again, one, two. And then you're going to end the lick by going back to the flat third there, sixth fret on the G string, and hitting that twice. One, two. A little faster now. One, two. One, two. All right, the last lick here is another great example of some kind of signature sounds that Maceo uses, and then it's kind of scooping into one note repeatedly. Now on the guitar, the best way to do this would be kind of these unison slides. So what I'm doing here is starting by a sliding up to the 14th fret on the B string. Then gonna hit that same note, the D flat note there, at the ninth fret on the high E string. You're gonna hit it twice. Again. And then gonna uh, repeat that. A slightly different phrasing there on the second beat. And then gonna go back to the D flat up at the 14th fret, hit that slide into it, and then slide out of it. And that's the entire phrase. So here it is very slowly. Again. <laughs> 